Hey y'all, welcome back, or if you're new around here, hello and welcome, my name is Katie Marie, and I have such an exciting launch, as you guys saw from this thumbnail, but I'm excited to share with you guys this huge PR package that I just got in the mail, and I'm sitting down while my kids are napping to share with you guys Ace Beauté's newest launch, which is combining games and makeup, which I love games and I love makeup, so it's like the perfect combination. The actual PR package is huge, like I, I don't think I can fit it in the screen here, so I went ahead and took some video footage on my phone, and. I'm gonna go ahead and overlay it while I talk. But basically in this new collection, which is called the Palettopoly, bringing the fun back to makeup, they have an eyeshadow palette, lashes, magnetic lashes, and the liner that goes with it. They have liquid lipsticks, a lip gloss, a makeup brush set, and then also as well the game, which is the whole kind of purpose and kind of focal point of this collection. They made up a game to go along with the eyeshadow palette. So I have all those things in front of me. I am super excited to just dive right in and get started. So as I said, I just put my kids to bed, took off my eye makeup that I had on. Let's get in, zoom up close, and let's play the game and see how fun this Palettopoly game is. I'm super intrigued. They came out with a really fun color star. I'll go ahead and show you real quick since that tends to be what my channel is all about, the eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like, and it's a very fun array of colors that's going to be a lot of fun to randomly, you know, kind of do a palette bingo, but with a more of a, like, a setup and cards and a pad of paper and all that. So I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and get in close and I can share with you guys a little bit more about the collection before we dive in and play Palettopoly. Okay, so Palettopoly, we have the palette here. I got all the stuff in front of me. Oh my goodness, I should have cleaned off my desk before doing this. But anyway, it comes with instructions on how to play the game. And it also has instructions for if you are doing a solo, can I get this, a solo game? or if you are doing two or more players. So I'm just gonna read real quickly right here. The goal of the game is to create a limitless amount of looks that will push you to step outside of your comfort zone while still having fun. I love that, and I've read over the games. I'm gonna give you guys a synopsis of it just so we don't have to sit here all you know all afternoon and read this to you, but I've already gone over how it is, and basically it's kinda of like a palette bingo, except you also do like a memory game, and you keep points, and those points that you add up at the end of the game help you decide if you wear lashes and what lips to, to put on and all that stuff, so it's kinda of like a more complicated version of palette bingo, complete with like cards and, and a little like notepad, like look at this notepad here. You can write out the shade names, the card value, and then your total score and like I said that helps you decide what lashes and lips to pair with the look and I love a good palette bingo so I am all into this so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put over the screen really quickly sped up just so you guys don't have to sit there and watch the whole thing but I did what they said and they said to kind of lay it out memory card style and flip over until you find five different matches and set those aside and that's what you're gonna use to decide what your crease outer corner lid inner corner and lower lash line are going to be like what shades you have to use for them. So I did that, as you can see, gonna let it play out, make sure make sure I'm giving you guys enough time to see it. And I have them all saved, hopefully in the right order of me getting them, but I am pregnant, so I'm sorry if my pregnancy brain is, <laughs> might be ruining some things. But as far as I can remember, this was the first match I found. So this, they said, once you get the match, what you're supposed to do is look at the card value, and they said to look at the card, if it has a trophy sign, then it is going to win. However, the only way uh, the other card might win is if the other card has a, what is it, card value two, which this is card value two, so that means this trumps the trophy one. If there isn't a card value two and there isn't a trophy, then whichever one, whichever card value is higher wins. That's how the game is played. So for this case, for my very first crease shade, it's gonna be neon. That is what I'm gonna have to use. So let me write that down so I don't forget because goodness knows I will probably forget. And then the card value is two. You write it on your little pad there to keep score and then you move on to the next set which were these right here. Uh, let's see, we have purple rain card value of two and shoulder pads card value of three. So no trophy with these cards. So three is going to win and that is shoulder pads. Next pair that I found was the eyeshadow palette which I was super into. And this has card value of one and card value of three. This one has a trophy though so it doesn't have a card value of two. I don't know what it is with two, but that's that's the rules. So this is gonna win. It's gonna be mullet card value of one. All right, next up, I got this pair. As you guys saw, we have queen card value four and leg warmers card value one. 
Leg warmers is gonna win because it's not card value of two. So that means that we have card value one. Man, I missed out on a four points there. And what did I say? Leg warmers. All right, one more. Uh, let's see, we have boy bands. This was the last pair I found and Ninja Turtle. Card value of two, card value of four, no trophies. So that means I get to do card value of four boy bands. I get four points there. And so they said total score you have to add up on the side here with all your card values, I have two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So my total score is 11 and we'll get into the total score at the end because right now we need to dive into doing my makeup and do, putting, the, uh, putting the shades that I selected onto my eyes. So I'm gonna set my pad aside, set my little cards aside and let's see what we're going to be working with. All right, so just to run through it, I'm glad they gave me a pad because you guys with pal bingos, I'm always forgetting. I have to swatch them on my arm, but the pad is a nice way to remember Remember? So we're gonna use neon. I gotta find it. Where is neon? Neon is going to be my crease shade. Okay, my outer corner is going to be shoulder pads. Purple, okay, that works really well, actually. Um, let's see, my lid is gonna be mullet. Ah, oh, okay, bummer. That's not the shade I would want for my lid. Inner corner is gonna be leg warmers. Let's, hopefully, uh, let's hope that's a good shade. Um, where's leg warmers? Oh. Okay, we're all matte so far. Lower lash line is boy bands. What? Oh boy, <laughs> the only shimmer I have is going on my lower lash line. So this is where it kind of deviates from the palette bingo because like palette bingo, if you've never seen them, I'll leave my playlist down, uh, down below and up here. But palette bingo, I randomly select the shades and then I have the freedom, the option of putting it anywhere. This is going to be a lot more tricky. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna do an all matte look except for my lower lash line. Let's see how this look goes. I'm gonna use the brushes that they had and I'm going to prime with my Ace Beauté Eyeshadow Amplifying Base in Light. I don't see this on their website anymore, so I don't know if they are like reformulating and pulled it off, but I'm gonna use it because I have it and it's Ace Beauté. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my uh, outer corner for shoulder pads, which is this gorgeous purple. I am super excited that I got a nice dark purple for my outer corner, like how perfect is that? For that, I'm gonna take this little brush. It's kind of like a little pencil brush. I think this will do well. We're gonna dive right into that and let's put it on my outer corner. I feel like this is, you know, five is a really nice amount of shades for a game like this, but I wouldn't mind a few more, which I guess you could just like, you know, kind of interpret it how you will. And I could grab more shades if I wanted to, uh, or, you know, pick more pairs if I wanted to like, okay, let me pick one for the, uh, like blending out my crease or if I wanted two on my lid, that type of thing. So I don't know, that was a lot of fun getting to like play that little game beforehand. But realistically, like thinking about if I would actually like use that sitting down at the table when I'm doing my morning makeup, cause you do have to like lay it all out in memory card format. That's where I don't know, I might just be someone who like cheats a little bit and just randomly selects one, one card and that like, okay, this is the shade I'm gonna use for my crease type. I could totally see myself doing that. But anyway, let's just talk about this. Like look how gorgeous and beautiful and intense that is. That took absolutely no no effort to build up. It looks very nice and smooth. It's very pigmented, a little bit powdery, so I am trying to remember to tap off because definitely don't want purple all on my under eyes. But I'm just gonna put it on that and I'll probably come back with this brush after I do my crease shade, which was neon, which is this beautiful pink. These two are just perfect when we're talking about like working crease outer corner. Like I was really wondering what I would get for crease and outer corner, but these two will pair together very nicely. I'm just gonna start blending them in like this. If you're someone who like gets together with a friend to do makeup, like this would be such a fun game to play. I haven't even read over at this point how the, like the two person game goes, but that's a lot of fun that they you know put so much thought into this and I'm excited to like look at the point value. I didn't wanna look ahead, but I'm excited to see what points like that I got for the, you know, with the card value and stuff like that to see what that determines for my uh, my lips and lashes. So that's another little fun twist to it. These brushes are nice and soft. This is the smaller of the two um, blending brushes. If you were curious, I definitely like this size. It's a little large for like precise work, but since I'm only using one shade in my crease, um, it, it's gonna work just fine. Now I'm gonna go back to that purple. I'm going to bring this in. Let me pick up just a touch more, but I'm gonna use this to, uh, maybe it's a little bit of a cheat, but I'm gonna bring this up into my crease just to give a little bit of definition like I like. 
because I usually use two shades in my crease, one to give depth and one to blend it out. So I'm just gonna do that and then whatever's left, I'm gonna blend it up into the pink before I go back. I kinda need a more detailed brush to really work that pink and purple together with the pink shades. So I'm gonna go in and grab this brush, which is a E42. I'm gonna pick up that pink shade, just because that brush that I was using for the pink is more meant as like a very light and airy type of blend, and this I want a more precise blend to work the purple and the pink together, like so. Yeah, definitely intense, definitely like so pigmented and beautiful. And using this more dense type of blending brush, it definitely is getting a much easier blend. So no issues blending these two together. Okay, so I've pretty much caught this side up and I like the blend. You guys know I tend to just play back and forth as I do the, my makeup. I'm actually gonna take more of that purple. I was thinking about it since my lid shade is mullet, which is just such a, <laughs> such a boring matte shade. I'm gonna take this purple a little bit farther in. I really wish I could use like one more shade. Not necessarily a shimmer, but just one more shade to give this look a little bit of a pop because I feel like putting that mullet shade on, uh, on my lid is gonna make it pretty boring. So I want this purple to really stand out in the look. So I'm gonna bring it over a little bit more like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera just because I'm so slow when it comes to this, but I am going to do a half cut crease. I like to do that whenever it's a all matte eye look just because it it makes and keeps my, uh, my crease line really nice and sharp and helps to make sure there's no discoloration where I came down a little bit on my lid with the, the crease shade, so. And something I always like to do, I don't think there was any rules about like not cutting your crease and whatnot, so I'm gonna do that and I will be right back to uh, to move on to mullet. Okay, so I just used a little bit of white. This is Gimme Glow's eyeshadow primer. Um, and I just did a white base. Got a little bit of pink going back and forth, but that'll do. Now I'm going to take that flat brush from the Ice Beauté collection and I'm gonna go the lid, which is mullet. This eye look is looking so pretty and we're just gonna go and stick this shade all over my lid. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna have the most boring <laughs> video on this with this color combination, but hey, that's the name of the game, so we're gonna do it. We're putting mullet on it. I would like to know, what do you guys think for like, if you wanna see more videos of it? I was kinda of thinking, I like to do when a palette color story really inspires me, um, a bunch of looks just to kind of see the scope of it. And since I'm, you know, testing it out anyway for a review, it's not too hard, or at least it hasn't been, for me to record in the mornings when I'm doing my makeup and then put together a multiple looks video. So would you like to see a multiple looks video with this palette? And if you do, I feel like to be true to the collection, I need to do it with the game, but I also don't know if I would do, like be able to do the whole memory game and like how that would work putting that in the video. So I don't know if I should just, um, cause one way, like I said, you could play, you could just pick up a card and be like, okay, Ninja Turtle is what I'm gonna use for my crease, that type of thing. So I could do that for the video maybe. Oh wait, I gotta cut this crease before I put it on. But anyway, let me just take a little bit more purple and blend it and then I'm gonna step off camera and finish this side. But I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, do you think, see I wish I could use some of the hot pink between these two, I feel like that would be really pretty. But let me know what you guys think. Would you prefer to see like, you know, staying true to the game and actually just maybe I could do it the night before. I don't know if I'd record it and stick it in the video. I feel like that might be a little long and boring, but I could pick out the cards and then um, do the look the next day type of thing and then only do like three or four looks just cause that would get a pretty long video having to play the game and do my eye makeup or should I just do a regular multiple looks video and just do whatever I want in the palette? Cause you know, you can do that as well with this game. You don't have to just play the game, but since it does have a game to it and if I was gonna do more looks with it, I feel like that'd be a lot of fun to do uh, play the game for like the whole video and to see what type of looks I could get. But then like, what if they were all kind of crazy like this and you know, maybe eye looks that I don't necessarily absolutely love. Maybe I could do like a bonus look of just picking the shades that I absolutely like. I don't 
know. Let me know your thoughts. My phone is blowing up right now. Sorry, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I'm definitely really curious to see what you guys think. But before I take a break, I will say as much as I was dogging on the shade mullet and how ugly it was going to make this look, I mean, I don't think this looks terrible. It's definitely like, you know, looking at this eye look, it's like, wow, that was a choice to kind of take that shade to put on your lid with that crease. But it doesn't look terrible. I don't know. Maybe I'm hyping it up a little bit too much in my head, but... I, I think it looks okay. The only thing that I wish, like I said, I wish I could just pop the hot pink between the two because I feel like that would really tie it all together and just be super fun for one, but also it would just kind of help make it pop a little bit more. I definitely have some fallout, but it's all brushing away very nicely. So yeah, let me go ahead and catch the side up and then we'll keep on trucking. All right, so caught the other eye up. I didn't really even speak to the quality of mullet. I mean, I didn't use it to blend out. I just kind of blended it to into the purple, but it is a nice smooth shade. With doing all matte eye looks, sometimes you can run into issues with the mattes looking patchy or like, you know, soaking up the concealer you put down or not wanting to stick if you don't put concealer down, that type of thing. Obviously I put concealer down, so I don't know about it not sticking, but it is looking so smooth. There's no patching issues, no discoloration issues, you know, with putting it on top of a concealer and it was very easy and effortless super happy with it so here's what we got what do we have next um let's see we did lid inner corner i'm going to do my lower lash line and then we'll do my inner corner just because in the order of things on this pad it said to do the inner corner next but i got to do my lower lash line before i can do my inner corner that's just just what i do so i'm going to go ahead and take what type of brush should i take because it's a shimmer of course why would it be a matte it's so funny i got like a matte for my lid and a shimmer for my uh lower lash line Anyway, boy bands. Where's boy bands? This shade, which is honestly a really dark blue. I think it's going to go really nicely. And let's see, picking this up, it's nice and smooth. It's picking up pretty well. It's kind of just dipping it into and looking at the, the shimmers in this uh, palette, kind of reminding me of like Glam Lights formula when it comes to their shimmers. So we'll see if it picks up easier. Why am I starting on this side? I'm always doing this side on camera, but we'll see if it picks up easier because I always struggle to get the shimmers and Glam Lights palette to transfer. Okay, that's going on really nice. Yeah, this is gonna go really well with the look. Just not typically what I put on my lower lash line is shimmer. Okay, I got too much. I think I was a little worried it was, wasn't picking up, but it was picking up because it just went into my eyeball. Sorry if that bothers you. I should have done that off camera when I wasn't talking, but anyway, I'm just gonna put this out and then I'm going to take, I don't know if this is cheating, but I was gonna take a little bit of the pink just to wrap it around and I'm gonna have it help soften this edge out. And I kind of want to pop a pink on the inner corner. Is that cheating? Because it's two shades on the lower lash line, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bit of that neon shade and I'm going to use it right here just to soften this out and we'll come down a little bit to connect. I'm going to do a wing liner because if I have to put lashes on and they're magnetic lashes, they have their liner and whatnot, I need, I need to have a, a line on my on my uh, eye to work on. So I guess I don't have to work too hard to make this blend right here seamless because this line, that line where the uh, purple is, is kind of where I, I just naturally put my wing. So I'm gonna take a little bit of pink and blend it into the blue. I'll make sure I'm not covering the blue. I definitely don't wanna take that away from the game, but just a little bit right here. I feel like that'll look so nice and just make sure everything's nice and blended underneath here. Like so, just a little hint. It kind of turned purpley even, working it with the blue, obviously, but there it is, I like that. That that shade, I mean, I really can't speak much to the shimmers in this video, just because of the shades I'm using, but uh, it's nice for the, the lower lash line. Like, it doesn't look like super sparkly or like everything's falling onto my face. It definitely has a nice pigment and color to stand on its own underneath my uh, lashes, so I'm happy with that. I really wanted to use one of these today. Like, oh, that's just so beautiful. Anyway, now is inner corner, which was leg warmers, right? Inner corner leg warmers, which was this blue. <laughs> this might ruin the look. It hasn't been too bad. Like, this final look, I feel like... It's interesting, but it's not terrible. I mean, it just wouldn't be what I choose, but it's not atrocious to look at. Anyway, we gotta do inner corner. <laughs> we'll see if this changes it. At least it's a bright color, not like, you know, the mixed tape, which if you're curious is like that shade. <laughs> I don't know if I could pull that off. I definitely can see how this would be a fun game to play. Oh, so pigmented. I picked up way too much. Um, <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, I definitely could see how this would be a fun game to play with a friend because, you know, doing it this way with the memory and, you know, the card value and all that, 
and not having, I think that's the biggest difference for me, like with this between a, like just a regular palette palooza, you don't have control over where you place what. So, I mean, you can get some really interesting looks. Definitely a lot of fun. And I like that they did that because I was a little worried, like when they were promoing this, I'm like, this kind of just sounds like a palette bingo. Like, is it gonna be anything kind of, you know, unique? Though I guess most people probably don't know about palette bingos. As far as I know, um, Emily Noel started it with singles and then someone did it with a palette and that's kind of where I discovered it. Oh my goodness. This is not working for me, y'all. I don't like this. So I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm gonna go around the edges very vigorously and try to make this look less atrocious. Atrocious? I don't know why I had trouble saying that. Even my camera was like, nope, it just turned off. Granted, it's just because I've been filming for so long. But anyway, <laughs> my camera was like, why would you put that on your inner corner? I'm asking myself the same thing. Okay, it doesn't say you can't like blend it to smithereens. Not that I'm making it go away, but I'm definitely lightening it up because it's just such an intense neon blue, like gorgeous. Like I can't wait to use that in the crease or on the outer corner or on the lid or anywhere else besides my inner corner. But using it here just looks like I'm, I don't know, <laughs> just weird choice, I guess. Maybe not sick, but it's just a weird choice. Okay, so with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and take that pink, which is neon on this little brush and just kind of make sure to work it down here because I really don't want this blue coming up too high. And I gotta be careful because if I do it too much, it's gonna turn purpley and then I'll just look like I have like a bruise on my eye. Holy cow, my viewfinder makes me look crazy. So, um, I'm gonna stop at this point. I'm gonna put on some liner, wing it out, and put on some mascara and put some black in my waterline. None of that comes in the collection or as far as I can see, it's part of the game. So that's good and maybe, Maybe it'll make me not feel so crazy with this blue inner corner, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and I don't know if that blue <laughs> looks any better. We're rolling with it. I just realized I didn't put any um, uh, highlighter on today. Anyway, I'm already almost at the end of the video. Let's just finish it out and see what we're gonna do. It says challenge time at the bottom for lashes. If your card value is, or is 10 or more, go for fuller long lashes, which is the extra long in the pack. Um, if your card value is less than 10, go for shorter natural lashes, the baby doll lashes, which is at the top. So I got 11 total uh, card or total score from all the card values. So that means we're going uh, big and bold. Um, so yeah, cool. Let's do it. I did already put one layer on. They said let it dry completely, which I literally just finished before I started talking. So I'm just going to take the clean, the last brush in the collection or their you know brush collection that I didn't use, clean brush, and I'm going to go around the edges just because... Something I like to do to try and make it as uh, seamless a blend out from my eyes as possible. I don't know, I feel like it helps cut down on like the harsh line between where the color ends and my skin goes. And of course, it's just like destroying my brows, but oh well. <laughs> um, anyway, just gonna do that while we wait. And then let me go ahead and put on the next coat because these are magnetic lashes. They're not like, um, it's not like an adhesive glue with the liner, so it does need to dry completely. So it's just a shake it up pen, really pretty packaging, I should say. It's a felt tip, you shake it up, and then what I always do is I, you know, like I told you guys I was gonna do, I do my wing and then I just like press this on top and it usually, you know, after it dries, my, my wing is matte and then this goes on shiny so I can make sure it is actually transferring. So that's just what I do. So I'm gonna do this and then let's go ahead and move on to the lips while this dries completely and then we'll pop on the lashes at the end. I should have measured the lash before I did this. Oh well, it's magnetic. It should come off pretty easy if I need to trim it. But yeah, that's all there is to it. So that is the lashes. We're gonna be using these big ones and they don't look too terribly big for me. So I'm, I'm not too scared. Okay, so lips, if your card value is 10 or more, go for bold lips. If your card value is less than 10, go for a muted lip color. So I do have an 11 and they said, go for a bold lip color, strawberry shortcake or poly liquid lipstick. I'm assuming it's gonna be one of these, strawberry shortcake or poly. Poly, strawberry shortcake. At least it's gonna go with this look. I mean, because it just ties in so well with what I have going on on top, but I'm not sure if I should do red. No, I feel like I should just go, let's just do it. Let's just go with the bold, bold, bold. It's gonna match the eyes really well. Let me wipe off this lip balm, or lip oil that I had on at the beginning of the video. And let's see how their liquid lipsticks apply it's really cute too but this is like uh, all the design you see is raised so it feels really neat and nice in your hands well, let's see i'm sure it's gonna be pigmented Ooh, okay all 
All right, so initial thoughts. One dip was all I needed to uh, apply my lipstick. It's definitely bright. It looks a little deeper and like darker in uh, like in, uh, in person than it does on camera. On camera it looks pretty darn neon, but I feel like my lip color brings it down a touch. So it's a bit of like a neon pink, but like depth to it. I forgot to say I was testing out, I was testing out a nail polish today and I wanna see how neon it was. So I just did one nail. Anyway, um, oh, I don't wanna put my lips together until it dries because um, that can often ruin a liquid lipstick. But um, overall, I think it's nice. It's very light on, it's very moussey feeling when when you put it on like the actual liquid lipstick it has a very moussey texture to it but it doesn't have like a super thick feel to it because like I can still see my lips I have some dryness on my lower lashes which it's caught a little bit in but not terrible it looks okay I just don't know I'm a little skeptical about wear time and I have tried Ace Beauté's liquid lipstick formula in the past and not often I think like maybe two three times and I've remembered it just being okay like I'm not, I wasn't super impressed with it. It was a little thin, but it was also really dark colors. So anyway, I haven't tried it a ton. Let me go ahead and see. I'm definitely gonna have to trim these. It's gonna bother my inner corner if I don't. Let me see how much to trim off. Cause with magnetic lashes, you want to, um, you gotta do it around the magnet part. Of course I don't have actual like scissors here. So let me go get them. Okay, I'm back and I'm gonna just try to cut one. I'm gonna go from the bigger outer portion, not the inner portion. That's what I've always been told to do, but I'm just gonna cut off one magnet and then see, but I might need to cut off two. Let's see, this might work. Let's go ahead and let me feel, it look, feels dry. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on. The good thing about magnetic lashes is like, if you don't get it on right, you can just pull it off and usually redo it. I guess it depends on the formula of the, um, the magnetic liner because some of it will tear off when you pull it off but good ones should let you pull it off once or twice more before really like leaving it alone and letting it cement down okay that looks nice that was easy to put on it is a, a touch long but i really don't want to cut off another uh let me see where's my mirror my three-way mirror let me see how far away yeah i guess i could cut a little bit more we're just going to do one for the video though because i'm just going to be wearing this for the video right now uh, after naps when the kids wake up i will not have these on so just to close out the video, if it starts to bother me some more, then I might have to trim it. But we'll try to do just do one. I'd rather like trim less than uh, than trim too much. Uh, where those go? I like this for my inner corner because my fingers always feel so bulky. Just pop that on, nice and comfortable. They um, there's a ton of magnets if you've ever dabbled in magnet in magnetic lashes. Some brands will put like three or four on there and that's it. And then some brands will put a ton. I find that the more magnets, tiny, tiny magnets they are so they don't annoy you, but the more magnets, the better because they get a better, like stronger feel, stronger hold. Yeah, this is going to start making my eyes water and I have, um, I got a matte, uh, all matte eyeshadow. So if my eyes water, then I'm going to ruin ruin my uh, makeup on my eyes because my eyes will water and water and matte on your lid do not mix so let me go ahead and do this this eye feels fine though let me just go ahead and pop that back on i will say that when i pulled them off there i didn't see any of the liner pull off so that's good it gives you a little bit of work around before leaving it be usually by the end of the day no matter which brand of magnetic lashes i have on um when i pull them off they will pull off a little bit of the liner, but I feel like it's just cause you know, it's held on all day and then you know, you're gonna go pull it off. It's gonna stick a little bit. So I don't really care if it ruins my liner at the end of the day, but yeah, there we go. Okay, so I took two, two uh, magnets off this side and just one off this side. Might look a little weird, but they feel really nice. For magnetic lashes, I can definitely feel them. Let me see if I can dry this eye cause that really was starting to annoy, <laughs> annoy my inner corner. Thankfully, it's not itching and watering anymore, but I just didn't want the water to seep out and ruin it. But anyway, they feel really nice. I don't, you know, they don't feel heavy on my eyes. The magnets don't feel heavy on my eyes either. It feels very light. And for these being the bold lashes, they're lashes I would use and enjoy. Like, I feel like they still have a soft fluttery. They're not too heavy and too crazy. They're definitely bold, but not excessive. So, I think that's the game. We did the game, y'all. And there's a whole sheet of paper here. So, you got tons of turns. I mean, honestly, you don't have to use this. You could just use a regular piece of paper and just, you know, keep score. But I just think this is so very cute. So let me go ahead and pull back out, show you guys some, you know, my finished looks like I usually do. And then we can close out this video. 
All right, you guys, so that is the game. That is Palladopoly that Ace Butte came up with and released a whole collection around it. And it was fun. Like, I think it's just a fun way of doing makeup. If you are at all interested in the palette, like the color story and all that, and you enjoy like palette bingos or you just enjoy having fun with your makeup, this is definitely a very fun twist. It's gonna make doing your makeup take a little bit longer having to do the cards and all that, but it definitely will give you some very interesting looks that you will either love or hate, but it's just fun in the moment to see what you have to create with the eyeshadows that you are given. So I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this collection. I kind of knew I was gonna enjoy it just because like I said, I'm someone who is a big fan of palette bingos. I haven't done one on my channel in so long, but it's been on my list of like, I really need to do a palette bingo because I enjoy them. They're just a ton of fun. And this, like I said, is a little bit harder than a palette bingo because I did not have control over where I put the shadows. And that is another twist and challenge. And I'm all here for the challenge. So I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this collection. I'll go ahead and put on the screen and also down in the description box, uh, the launch date for this collection. It might already be out at the time of me posting this video, but I really am not sure at the time of me filming this. I do have an affiliate code with the brand. If you want to use it, I'll leave it down in the description box as well as a link to their website if you want to purchase this palette but overall I had a lot of fun and I, I can't wait to continue using this palette and please let me know as I was saying during the video let me know down in the comments how you want me to review this palette do you want me to just review the palette just create looks with it like don't worry about the game just create looks and you know maybe if I can fit in another video do a video creating looks whatever I want or do you want to see me do a video where I create you know two three four more looks and I play the game each time just to see what happens because Honestly, I'm really curious to see what would happen if I play if I use this palette and like exclusively played the game And then maybe for the last look I did whatever I wanted because like if I got to look like this each time I'd be like what I want to I want to play with some of these shades and see what I could look, come up with because this row right here this grungy row is calling my name. But anyway, let me know that down below in the comments. Definitely, I'm very curious to hear what you guys would think if I did do a video where I played the game three or four times. Let me know your thoughts down below, but overall first impressions for the whole collection, I, I mean, as a whole, I was super happy with it. The eyeshadow palette quality, those shades that I used, very nice and pigmented. I really do enjoy their mattes, and the mattes that I tried in this palette really do remind me of the Tropical Vibes palette, which is their grungy green palette that I absolutely love and named like top favorite from last year. It reminds me of the mattes in here. I really can't speak to the shimmers though because I really only used one on my lower lash line but mattes were great so I hope that helps you guys a little bit. But yeah and then the lipstick it feels nice. It's still it's a little bit sheer. I will say that as a whole like moussey goes on very nicely. Goes on very you know pigmented and whatnot but it does just look at the finished when it's dried down a little sheer so I can see the lines of my lips a little bit and the dry areas but I don't really know anything about wear time. And then lashes I think are really pretty. They did they picked two really good styles to put in there. I don't really have a review besides just wearing it for five minutes but they they feel comfortable and whatnot and then what else oh the um, the brushes I really do like the brushes I wish they had done more like maybe a flat type of blending brush instead of two of these um, bigger blending brushes I don't even know where the other one is but instead of two of them just because I, I like those flat type of blending brushes the you know the ones I like to use in my outer corner but for the ones that they did include they're very soft they blend really well very nice the flat brush is not too flat or too you know hard to use so overall like it and then the game the game was fun I, I had fun with the game but I feel like I'm easy to please when it comes with makeup and games give me a, a game that I can play with my makeup and I'm a happy camper so I'm gonna stop talking at this point I cannot wait to hear what you guys think down below in the comments as I've been saying and as always if you want to continue following me I'm over on Instagram I'm Lady Katie 92 over there and I post reels up close ice watches all that sort of thing Lady Katie 92 and with all that said I'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye guys